the top 10 world's most expensive shoes for women. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello dear and welcome to another Alux.com original video. We appreciate your choice and fine taste. At Alux.com we've covered almost all of the most expensive products in existence and today we'll be looking at a women's best friend, her shoes. But not any type of shoes. These are the most expensive shoes for women to ever be made. Unlike the top 10 most expensive shoes for men where we have several brands competing, here with only two exceptions, the top is dominated by one name, Stuart Weitzman. The girl wants her shoe to enter the room before she does and she wants it to be there after she's left. Let's begin. Number 10. Diamond Dream Stilettos by Stuart Weitzman. Price $500,000. Designed for Anika Noni Rose to shine at the 2007 Oscars, this pair represents Stuart Weitzman's least expensive creation, valued at merely half a million dollars. I know, right? What a catch. The pair is covered in 1,420 diamonds provided by Kuwait, which are placed in a circular manner at the top. The sandal shoe features a delicate silver band across the toes, making them elegant and perfect for the red carpet. Number 9. The Wizard of Oz Original Ruby Slippers. Price $612,000. The Wizard of Oz movie was a worldwide hit back in the day, and only three pairs from the original shoot are still in existence. The last pair available fetched an incredible $612,000 at the Christie's Auction House a few years back, making them also some of the most expensive movie memorabilia in the world. Back in 2011, another original pair was put up at the Icons of Hollywood auction without much luck because the starting price was at $2 million and nobody bid on them. Better luck next time. Number 8. Marilyn Monroe Shoes by Stuart Weitzman. Price $1 million. Elegant, exciting, expensive, and nude are the main four characteristics of the pair. The spotlight consists in the satin rows packed with Swarovski crystals, but these are not your average sparkling gems. They were once Marilyn's earrings. The pair was designed for Regina King to walk the red carpet in them back in 2005. Afterwards, the original earrings were removed and replaced with identical replicas and the pair was auctioned off. Number 7. Retro Rose Pumps by Stuart Weitzman. Price $1 million. Bringing the 40s back with this pair, Weitzman used up to 1,800 Kuwait diamonds on the beautifully designed roses and an extra 400 diamonds within the shoes themselves. The shoes caused a bit of a controversy back in 2008. After they were done, Stewart chose Diablo Cody, the screenwriter of Juno, nominee for the best original screenplay that year, to be worn on the red carpet. Cody did in fact win the award that year, but she refused to wear the shoes, considering them just a publicity stunt and wanting nothing to do with it. Number 6. Platinum Guild Stilettos by Stuart Weitzman. Price $1,100,000. Made with platinum Fabrice, the pair showcased 464 diamonds supplied by, take a guess, of course it was Kuwait. Each shoe comes also with a big pair diamond that can be either added to the strap in the front or used as jewelry. These were the first million dollar plus pair of shoes to ever walk the red carpet and the lucky lady for the job was actress Laura Herring. Number 5. Ruby Slippers by Stuart Weitzman. Price $1,600,000. The famous shoe creator had to pay a tribute to the famous ruby slippers, but they surely did it in a personal manner. Encrusted with over 640 Burma rubies on top of an elegant red satin, these are far away from being your average slippers. The entire body is made out of half a pound of platinum, with a total carat count of 124. The pair was originally intended to be revealed in 2003, but due to the war in Iraq and the general sober mood, the launch was postponed. Later on, they were unveiled at Harrods in London, and the entire event was a huge success. Number 4. Tanzanite Heels by Stuart Weitzman and Eddie Le'Veon. 
price $2 million. The pair was done in collaboration with renowned jeweler designer Eddie Le'Veon, but it keeps the general guidelines of Weitzman's work. The strap looks a lot more like a necklace than an ankle holder, and with the price tag of over $2 million, they are far from footwear. On the outer layer, you'll find 28 carats of diamonds, bordering 185 carats of bright blue tanzanite gemstones that are truly breathtaking. The spotlight of this piece is the 16 carat tanzanite tear stone that puts some of the necklaces featured in other stores to shame. Number 3. Cinderella Slippers by Stuart Weitzman. Price $2,200,000. Stewart had to pay tribute to one of the most well-known shoes out there, Cinderella's shoe. Made in platinum featuring 565 Kuwait diamonds, it better not slip off and get left behind. The right slipper features an incredibly rare 5 carat amaretto diamond which by itself is valued at more than $1 million. Alison Krauss was the one chosen to wear them at the 2004 Oscars, and as you can imagine, they got a lot of press. Number 2. Rita Hayworth Heels by Stuart Weitzman. Price almost $3 million. These are the world's second most expensive shoes for women, but sadly they are not for sale, even if you could afford it. Rita Hayworth was a major success back in the day and during her lifetime had put together quite a fortune, so as you'd expect, she had the pair custom made to match her reputation. The value comes from the combination of rubies, diamonds, and other gemstones put together at the tip of the pair. Named based on the late actress, the pair is owned by her daughter, Princess Yasmin Aga Khan. Number 1. Ruby Slippers by Harry Winston. Price $3 million. Surprise, surprise! The most expensive pair of women's shoes in the world is not made by Stuart Weitzman, although the Rita Hayworth pair is valued closely to the same price tag, but by Ronald Winston. In 1989, in celebration of the 50-year anniversary of The Wizard of Oz, the son of Harry Winston, Ronald, decided to pay tribute to it by creating the ultimate luxury shoes. Many have had an interest in creating a really expensive Wizard of Oz shoe, as we've seen in this video. Three of them are based on the story, but nothing came close to what the house of Harry Winston was able to achieve. There are 4,600 hand-placed rubies on them, and it took two months of non-stop work to get them done. The carat count is as follows. 1,350 in rubies and 50 in white diamonds, making them the costliest pair of shoes ever created. Up until today, there has yet to be a worthy challenger to the title, but we're expecting this record not to hold for much longer. We'll just have to wait and see. If you had the money, would you spend it on a million dollar pair? If so, would you ever wear them outside the house? Join the conversation in the comments. Because you stuck with us to this very second, there's an even more expensive pair of footwear for women out there. Priced at $3.1 million, here are the most expensive boots in the world. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.